Hi everybody, today I'll be sharing with you my creamy Tuscan salmon recipe. This is a perfect recipe for a dinner for two or an entire family. Let's get started. First off, we'll start with three peeled cloves of garlic. You'll want to dice the garlic into thin slices for this recipe. Now put aside the garlic for now. Then grab about a cup and a half of cherry tomatoes. These beautiful cherry tomatoes will help make the sauce for this recipe. Can you believe we're all done with the prep? Let's put the cherry tomatoes alongside the garlic for now. Now on to the star of the show, the salmon. Today I'm going to use 4 pieces of salmon, about 200 grams each, for 4 people. Since salmon is a bit slimy, I like to blot it with paper towel first. Now season your salmon with salt and pepper. Always make sure you season your seafood when it's still raw before cooking so that it enhances the flavor even more. So we'll flip the salmon onto the other side and repeat the same process. Blot off the slime of your salmon with a paper towel and season it with salt and pepper again. Seasoning your salmon on both sides will allow your salmon to be the perfect bite the whole way through. Now let's head on over to the stove. Add about 1 to 2 tablespoons of olive oil to a large skillet and turn your stove to medium high. You can now add your beautiful pieces of salmon to the pan. Salmon is such a healthy fish to eat because it has a lot of good fats that your body will need. Now make sure there's enough space between each salmon so your salmon doesn't steam. Once you're done handling salmon, you can wash your hands. Now let me give you some tips on when to flip the salmon. You'll want to flip the salmon when it's cooked about halfway through. You can tell that it's cooked halfway by looking at the color. You can get ready to flip your salmon. Be very careful with this step because you don't want your salmon breaking apart. I would recommend lifting your spatula under the salmon and letting the oil seep underneath. Then flip your salmon. This will make it less likely that your salmon will stick. In total, it took me about 6-7 to seven minutes on each side for the salmon to be fully cooked. Alright, take your salmon off the stove for now and put it on a plate. I personally like to cook my salmon to about a medium at about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. You can always use a meat thermometer to check the temperature of your salmon. Make sure you don't overcook your salmon because it can get very fishy. Now you can see I was left with a lot of olive oil at the bottom of the pan. Use some paper towel to blot up some olive oil. It's finally time to make this beautiful sauce. Add your sliced garlic from before. Leave your stove on medium heat for this part. And saute your garlic for about one minute until it's fragrant. Then add your sliced cherry tomatoes that you chopped from before. Season these cherry tomatoes with a bit of salt and pepper. You want to saute these cherry tomatoes until they've blistered and let out their juices. Keep moving the tomatoes around for about four to five minutes until they're quite blistered. Now you see some dark stuff stuck to the bottom of my pan, but don't worry, that's not burnt. That's all flavor that we'll get off with the next step. Once you're happy with your tomato blistering abilities, you can add about 3 quarters of dry white wine. You can use things like Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, a Sauvignon Blanc, or even a Riesling. Now scrape off those beautiful brown bits from the bottom of your pan. You want to boil the wine till it's reduced about 50%. Now bring your heat down to a simmer and add about a 3 quarter cup of heavy cream. Then add a quarter cup of parmesan cheese. Lastly add about 2 cups of washed and drained spinach. Now this may seem like a lot of spinach at first, but when you mix it in, the spinach will wilt. All wilted now. Now you can add your perfectly cooked salmon right back into that beautiful sauce. Doesn't it look like it's all coming together now? So pretty. Now it's time to cover your salmon up for about 3 minutes and it'll be ready for serving. Look at that beautiful masterpiece. Taste the sauce and see if salt is needed. Now spoon that delicious creamy sauce onto your salmon. This beautiful creamy sauce has all the perfect flavors combined. The deep and savory parmesan flavors perfectly balanced by the sweetness of the dry white wine 
and a touch of acidity from the blistered tomato. What more could you ask for in a creamy sauce? This salmon recipe is perfectly paired with some rice pilaf or a beautiful linguine beneath. You can spoon on as much sauce as you want. If you're serving it with pasta, make sure you spoon on enough sauce for your guests. The rice is perfect delivery system for that beautiful sauce. Add some boiled or roasted asparagus for a touch of greenery. Finish off your beautiful creamy Tuscan salmon with a sprinkle of parsley on top and some freshly cracked black pepper. Enjoy! I hope you like my creamy Tuscan salmon recipe. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to make more seafood recipes. Thank you!